Hey everybody, Keith Hilson at the Trombone Shop at Trent Music back with another instrument review. Exo Brass and Jupiter Brass have been getting a lot of attention the last handful of years. I've been really impressed with a lot of the work that they've been doing, not only in just the overall build quality, but the playability as well. And so today I have one of their large bore tanners that we haven't had a chance to spend a lot of time with in the shop before, specifically the 1236LO. Um, so this is the uh, standard rotor here um, in open wrap. And so I'm going to take a play on this uh, and then of course I give uh, you opportunity to hear a little bit more about it. So today I'm going to be playing all of this on a Bach 5G. <laughs> So the 1236, you know, Exo is of course a part of the Exo Brass Pro line of uh, trombones. So this includes the uh, 1632, 1634 small bore tenors, the John Fetchak models. This includes the uh, 1240 bass trombone, and of course the tenors here, the 1236. Um, these, the large bore tenors, are available in a few different configurations. Um, they do have a closed wrap version of the the standard rotor setup, open wrap, um, and they do have a Thayer version as well. Um, and then of course available in a couple of different bell materials, uh, yellow brass and rose brass. Today I've got the yellow brass version here. Um, so, of course, just like any time we're talking about large returns, it has a lot of the standard accoutrements, an uh, eight and a half inch uh, yellow press bell. It looks to be a two-piece bell as far as I can tell. Um, you know, it uh, a reverse uh, tuning slide here, um, standard kind of hand slide setup, uh, yellow brass outer tubes with nickel silver crook. It is a little bit wider setup. Um, I, which I think contributes to some of the sound response that I'm going to talk about in just a second. And it does come with three uh, lead pipes. Now, one of the things that Echo X, oh, Brass has done that's a little bit different than some of the other makers is they have a, a different variety of lead pipes. Instead of having um, kind of the different uh, taper sizes, kind of small, medium, large, what Exo has done is included a couple different lengths of yellow brass lead pipes and a sterling silver lead pipe, which does some really, really interesting things. Um, in the past, I've actually I've been a big fan of the uh, sterling silver combined with the rose brass. I think it gives some really unique color and core to the sound. Um, in this case, I was using one of the uh, yellow brass lead pipes here. So right off the bat, I I find this to be a really well-centered trombone. I think, you know, things lock in place. I can, I can brighten up the sound a little bit when I want, but at the same time, I think it naturally has a little bit more of that mass and a little bit more of that weight to the response that I think a lot of times we're looking for in a uh, large bore tenor. Um, I found it um, to get a, maybe, I don't know if I'd say overly bright, it definitely wanted to get brilliant at times, but 
there was an openness to it that was really, really nice. Uh, in a lot of ways, the responsiveness um, in the centering reminded me a little bit of the Yamaha Zeno, but I actually felt like maybe the sound was a little bit more open in a way. Um, and I think there's a few different reasons for that. It feels like a more open instrument um, than you know, some of the other, especially intermediate offerings or other even pro level options. It's definitely, I would say a little bit more Bach inspired. It's got the wider hand slide here, obviously. Um, in this case, I think the reverse tuning slide lends it a lot of that more open feel as well. Um, I found, you know, overall the response in uh, throughout the ranges were good. I think I got just a little bit of compression in the upper register, but it wasn't bad. It was, it was very, very easily controlled. And again, I like that I could still keep the sound open, brilliant. Um, I had really great control of the vibrato of the upper register. Things really slotted in nicely. Um, I liked how the valve responded in the, the trigger register when I went down there. I didn't get an, you know, an exceptional amount of compression with all of that. If I were somebody, you know, if I was, a, you know, really looking to do some high level playing, I think I might lean towards the Thayer option myself. I've had a chance to play that horn before and I really, really like that that adds a, you know, obviously a different level of mass and depth to the sound and a little bit more open response, but there is a flexibility with this that I think is really, really nice. Uh, one thing um, I always like to note on these, um, they do the same things with the bass trombones, is they do have the lever assembly here that is adjustable both um, horizontally and in terms of tilt here as well. And the reason I bring that up is because every so often I'll have issues with a player, you know, being so forceful with the trigger that it actually does come to, cause the lever to tilt. Now this is um, fastened in place with a couple of set screws here, you know, activated, you know, adjusted with an Allen wrench. And I think for the most part, unless you have just got just, you know, huge strong hands, I think you're going to be able to keep this snugged up enough where that's not going to be much of an issue. But it, I, we have come run across it a few times, so I think it's important to mention here. But again, overall, I think it's a really, really um, nice playing instrument. I think there's a lot of upside to it here. And in terms of price point, I think it, it falls in really well in the same area with other comparable models. So... As always, I hope you enjoyed the review of the 1236 here. If you have any thoughts about what you heard, any questions, comments, feel free to leave those below here. If you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that notification button. Hopefully, we're going to be creating new, fresh content for you all the time. That's going to be interesting, informative for you. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Ha 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 ha